I'm good, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get on this topic of uh, neglect. And uh, I know it's a major topic for a lot of people out there. Girls, dudes, everybody. Everybody has to deal with neglect at a time. But I want to talk about people that have been neglected like too much. Let's say you neglected by your partner, especially. This one I'm talk about neglect by your partner. So, like, you know, you've been with that person for a minute, but you start to notice things changing. And, like, over time, you're not you're not getting the calls that you used to, you know. Unless they're not uh, doing the things that they used to and everything like that. And you just notice things starting to really change for the worse, you know. Slowly but surely, you know. It starts off as they're not calling as much as they used to, you know. And then it starts to slowly go. So they don't call certain days. And when they talk to you, it's no more baby this and baby that. It's just like, say... You know, it's like they say your name or something like that. It's not the same way it used to be. You know, you starting to lose that feeling with each other. And, uh, you know, little by little, it all eventually grows into, uh, whoo, But it all just grows into, uh, just full on neglect. You're not getting calls for weeks at a time. When you try to, when they talk to you, it's not even like they miss you. It's like, what's up? You know, what you doing? It's nothing. You know, it's just neglect. And the best thing to do when you're in that situation is to get out of that situation. And that's by leaving them, you know. First, the first thing you do, you tell them. You like, say, uh, you starting to really act different. You know, you're not calling as much as you used to. You're not doing the things you used to. You don't act the same way around me. You act like something, like you, like you hide something sometimes. You tell them straightforward what the problem is. They don't fix that. You know, you try to you give them another chance. If they don't fix that, you give them a good warning. Look, we breaking up for a few days. But, oh, you really need to get your act together. You know, we're going to break up. It's not a permanent breakup. It's a temporary breakup. I know it's going to be hard for a lot of people out there because they don't want to lose them. But if you, don't give, if you don't show them that you mean business, they're going to keep doing what they're doing. On some real, though. If your, uh, your girlfriend keep neglecting you, man, I'm talking for dudes and, you know, stuff. You know, if your girlfriend keep neglecting you, she got to tell her, man, we're going to take a little break. Because you're not acting the same way, and I already told you this, and you, con- you still didn't listen. You're constantly doing the same thing, so we're going to have to, you know, take a little breather to see if you really care about me, because I can't take this no more. And if you, if you come back from that break, some people never go back, you know, come back from the break because they find different people. Both of them go their separate ways. But if you come back and you try to make things work, and if I tell you, when you come back, a good week, everything is going to be beautiful. You know, you're getting called every minute by the minute. Baby, I love you, baby. I miss you, baby. You're the world to me. I'm going to get all that. But come day eight, I'm going to go back to the same thing. What you want, man? What you, what, what, what you need? What you need? It's gonna be that. When you need that stage, and you notice, you notice some symptoms of neglect. You know, they're not calling you by baby no more. No more sweet names. No more uh, sweetness. It's all just buddy, buddy. When it gets to that level, break it off. I hate to say it. I know it's a lot of people that's mad in love with that person. But if they neglecting you, you don't need to be with that person, right? It's gonna be hard. I can't say it ain't. I didn't have to go to it. It's hard. But trust me, in the end, it worked out for the better. You always, it's always going to work out for the better for you. I don't care what nobody says. It's always going to turn out for the better. Unless you throw your life away, you give up. Giving up never gets you anywhere. But trust me, if you just you're in that relationship and you get a better one, things are going to change. Because nobody should have to deal with neglect. Dude or female, nobody should have to deal with it. So everybody is everybody has a heart. Everybody needs that heart to be treated with 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 uh with caution, you know? You don't want nobody to just throw your heart on the ground and step on it and just leave it alone. You don't want that. You want you wanna have somebody's heart and take care of it, put it in the glass box, make sure it never gets this or anything like that. Make sure it's safe. And you want somebody to do the same thing with yours. You never want to be mistreated or neglected. Trust me, if that happens you're going to be unhappy, then you're going to start to think that it's your fault. And me, as the kind of person that I am, I'm a, I'm a dumb man. The kind of person I am, you know, I like, I, I, I hate to see a girl say it. I hate to see 
did when they neglect. And I don't, you know, I do my best to try to fix that, but can't do it alone. If nobody neglects somebody in the first place, so they get out of that thing quick, you don't have to worry about nothing, you know. If you hurry up and get out of the relationship, you ain't got to worry about your heart getting broken more and more. And you're getting into that stage of where you can't stand living and you don't want to be around anybody else. If you get out of it quick, you're going to be hurt for about two, three days. You know, oh, I miss them so much. I just want to call them. I'm going to do it. You're going to go on. You're going to find somebody. Trust me. I just seen plenty of plenty of folk do it. Especially, I used to have my best friend, you know. She went through it. She was like, I say, hey, you need to leave it. You really do need to leave it. She's not treating you right. She's neglecting you. You say you see her with other girls all the time. She's not treating you like way you should be treated. But I love her, but I love her, but I love her. I know you do. But you shouldn't have to deal with it. And if you, you don't want to deal with it, you get out. And I told her to get out. And for about, I ain't going to lie, for about a week or two, mopey, 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 mopey. Oh, I miss her. I need her. It's going to be sad. It's going to be sad. I can't say it won't be. But she found somebody. She liked that person. They liked her back. She fell in love. You know, they still together. You know, so I think they've been going together for like about a year now. They stay, they, you know, they in love. Everything is beautiful with them. They ain't got to deal with none of that drama. And it's good. And like the, if she got out of a relationship and she, she had, I mean, she, the other day she literally thanked me for, for getting out of that situation. And it made me feel good that I can help you. You know, you just... You just got to get out of that situation. If you get out of the neglect stage, you're going to be beautiful. You're going to be straight. They ain't going to work out for you. You know, just get out of it. You're going to be better.